To rig up the main leaf, we're going to use the tail operator. I'm going to create a curve and draw a cubic CV curve. I'm going to do it in the right side window, and I'm going to draw it from right to left, from the, uh, the base of the leaf through to the tip. I'll draw a simple four-point curve for maximum control over this tail operator. And one finally at the tip. Just a slight bend always. Uh, tend to have a habit of drawing chains in. Uh, from here I'll go in and use the Create Tail uh, tool and choose a very low number of bones to drive the envelope of the leaf. I'll press OK when I choose a bone number of four. And I get a very uh, cool tail operator uh, that I just need to connect my character to, or in this case, the leaf. So uh, I'm going to select the bones of the tail operator, which are these kind of lime green bones. Uh, I'm going to group them all together into a group. We'll call this my leaf deformer group. And if I unhide my 3D geometry again and open up an explorer, I'll make sure I envelope the leaf to the contents of my deformer group. Again, I have an empty operator stack on my leaf. And eventually I'm going to want to make sure that these objects here are uh, non-renderable because they do actually show up in the 3D viewport. So it's something we have to consider. I might actually just place them into a group. We'll call this the uh, leaf offset controls. This allows me to do like an FK kind of uh, offset to shape the leaf if I want the leaf to kind of dip down in a staircase uh, type pattern or sit uh, stiff like it is now. I'll make sure that the render visibility of the contents of that group is off, so we take care of that right away as well. All right, I'll envelope the leaf to the contents now. Uh, deform leaf, I'll set an envelope and make sure the construction mode is in animation by clicking yes and left click on the leaf deformer group and right click to envelope. I'll take the envelope assignment. If I press W, you can see how the assignment works. I'll make sure the assignment is a very stark uh, one bone per deformer, or one deformer per vertice. And I'll smooth out the deformer weights by using the Smooth Envelope Weights tool and extending the uh, neighborhood depth. OK, actually two or three should work just fine. All right, if you actually look at the deformer object now, if I just hit play, I have the basic controls for my leaf, mov my leaf movement. Okay, uh, if I was to actually open up the root, access the tail control custom property, anytime you need to reset your uh, tail simulation to initial state, uh, there is a reset simulation uh, option in there for you. Okay, so I'll move back to frame one, and I know I'm in my initial state now. Okay, so let's move on from here.